uh, published the bill, Patrick. So I just want to run through a couple of points here that we don't have slides for, but uh, but I want to run through them anyway. Uh, the key, the first key thing which should put everybody's mind absolutely at rest is that Matt Hancock, the Secretary of State uh, for Health, has made the following statement under Section 191A of the Human Rights Act. Uh, he said, in my view, that's in Matt Hancock's view, the provisions of the coronavirus bill are compatible with uh, the convention rights. So, so we don't have to worry. It's all compatible with uh, our human rights, Patrick. So that's a legal opinion from Matt, Matt Hancock himself, who is a, he's a scholar in international law. Is that right? Well, I'm not sure how qualified he is to, to actually make this statement, okay. though. But he's made it. Um, so... Uh, uh, apparently, Pretty Patel is going to be given the power to ask uh, ports and airports to temporarily close uh, and suspend operations if there's a shortage of border force staff. Uh, police and immigration will be given the power to detain a person and quarantine them if they are or might be infectious. Uh, and then uh, other aspects of the legislation are uh, allowing for recently retired doctors, medical students to be registered as regulated healthcare professionals. Uh, social workers who've recently re uh, left the profession can be brought back. Uh, people that are employed will be able to take emergency volunteer leave for up to four weeks uh, with a compensation fund. Uh, and then in terms of dealing with uh, people who have passed, who've passed away, just one doctor's opinion rather than two uh, would be able to uh, uh, deal with the, the, uh, the death certificate and so on. And then also, perhaps somewhat concerningly, uh, just one doctor's opinion rather than two can be used for detaining people under the Mental Health Act. Um, uh, then schools uh, for forced to close, that's in this legislation. Greater use of video and audio links in courts. Now, what was interesting about that is that uh, the legislation makes it clear that judges uh, would be able to take part in trials via video link, but juries would not. Um, so any jury uh, that attends uh, a trial or is required to attend a trial would have to do so in person. Uh, so that uh, remains the case. Uh, the, the temporary appointment of judicial commissioners who authorise warrants under anti-terror law uh, if there's a shortage. And they would have the uh, restrictions on, on gatherings and, and uh, events and so on. Now... Uh, there is a sunset clause in this bill, Patrick. It uh, it's says uh, that the expiry, the act expires at the end of the period of two years, beginning with the day on which it was passed, on which it's passed, um, subject to subsection two. So subsection one is that there's a sunset clause, and subsection two says uh, that uh, basically the sunset clause doesn't apply to section to. Uh, sub to section 2, schedule 1, to section 4 and schedule, th schedule 3, to section 5 and schedule 4, to sections 10, 11 and 12, to section 16, to section 18, uh, brackets 11, to section 12, brackets, uh, sorry, section 20, brackets 7, uh, sections 56, 7 to 66, section 68 to 70, uh, parts 2 to 5 of schedule 6 and schedule 7, parts 3 of schedule 7 and section 9, and so it goes on. And there's just paragraphs, uh, sections, uh, schedules, all excluded from the sunset clause. So this act needs to be looked at in detail. Uh, and uh, I don't know what the implications are yet. So, all the, so basically what you're saying, Mike, is all the caveats nullify uh, this, the real sunset clause, meaning that the bill uh, will never reach sunset uh, because of all the caveats they put in to create a circular uh, a circular um, situation where it renews itself constantly. Well, no, uh, well, it won't renew itself constantly. What it's saying is that, that, that all those sections and schedules and subsections that they exclude from the sunset clause will remain on the statute books after the sunset clause has, 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 has been invoked. So after the two-year period, uh, that those clauses will stay on the statute books. So this so that, needs to be looked at very, very carefully yeah. to work out exactly what powers government is claiming in perpetuity. In perpetuity. That's the important part. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, 